This video is sponsored by Boston Scientific, DFW Turf Solutions, the number one artificial turf in the DFW area, and the Cochrane Firm, DFW's premier law firm. Be sure to click the links in the description for all the information that you need. Van Quinn, in the first word, talked about, you know, how to deal with this injury situation in regards to LVE, how it affects Micah, and uh, if it's wearing Micah down playing defense in. As you look to replace him, does it impact Mike at all? And what it will. With it the last five weeks? Yes, it will. And, uh, you know, how do we, you know, utilize Mike at some at backer and some at defensive line moving forward? But, um, yeah, you're on the right track with that to say all hands on deck to make sure we can put everybody in the right spot to, to do their thing. Uh, Clarence, if what was telegram, um, what you said from Mike is, is take the playing defensive end, that's the total now. Uh, can you repeat how you Micah, phrase it? Yep. Is, do you see it the toll of the defensive end position taking? Um, I don't know if it's any more than defensive end than just the toll. You know, you could ask me about, you know, J-Ron and battling through injuries and where it goes. It's probably for all the players at this point a function of, hey, we're uh, still, you know, on the back half of the regular season to go. But uh, it does, there is more chips and things that could come up. Um, but at the same time, um, He's really playing relentlessly. So I would say I haven't seen any sign of him, not with his speed or with his um, instincts to use him. So all of that has been really good. How will they deploy Micah Parsons against that Philly offense? That'll be the question. I would love, I mean, they're not going to, he's not going to answer that, right? But, you know, sometimes when you're walking around there, you run into a coach to walk off, you can get a little something. I'm hoping that somebody down there, Haley, to Aisha, Pat Walker, one of our folks, right? They they can, hey, man, what you thinking about Michael Parsons this week? You don't play linebacker, you play defense. Because he played more linebacker in that game, and obviously that was one of the games that was there was struggles, right? They did a lot of misdirection and whatnot, and, it, and that's a tough offense to deal with in regards to misdirection. But without Jalen Hurts, does that change? Or are they more adamant at putting him at linebacker? I'm not brushed up on all things Eagles in their scheme and whatnot and Nick Sirianni offensive coordinator, but it feels like they do play fine mouse and house. And I don't mean that with Michael Parsons. I mean that, okay, if you put Mike at linebacker, then we'll just attack in the pass game at, at Micah or we'll go at, you know, whoever your quarterback two is with Devontae Smith and AJ Brown or whoever is on him, right? We'll just do that. And if that's the case, you're taking off your best pass rusher to get after the quarterback. Or if they put him at defense end, now we'll just send 330-pound tackles and guards at him and just take his legs out and run away from him because he's only one person. So I think in this game, man, I think DQ is going to have to play some really good chess against this Eagles scheme because they, they got caught last, last time. They got caught. You know, they couldn't make the stops. They couldn't stop the run at the, in that last possession, and it hurt them. 